in the C6 ZR1. Bobby is in the C8. Woo! That's good. <laughs> we're headed to in chain designs right now uh, we're about to drop off this car to get shipped away you know i got the other c8 and i just don't need this one anymore so i sold it oh and isn't that lovely we got some great rain here nice little storm rolling in it was beautiful five seconds ago and now it's not it's all right we're on a decent tire not for long but for right now, we're okay. I didn't sell it. Uh, it's gone down to LMR for a little build of its own. Now, this isn't going to be a crazy twin turbo build, but it is gonna be a really fun, really fast car, no doubt. Uh, we're doing like a cam and full bolt-on max effort stock blower build. Should make around 700, maybe 750 on pump. We might do a mixture of pump gas and E, not sure yet, but I'm looking for around 750 wheel. And, you know, this car weighs 3,200 pounds. It's going to be a fast, fast car at 750 wheel. Like, I promise you, it's going to be a handful. <laughs> not going to take long at all. You know, it's not going to be a few months. It should be like a few weeks. I would say maybe two to three weeks at the most is a safe bet. There is the big transport truck. I guess we'll leave it here for now. But, yeah, there you go. Goodbye, 2010 ZR1. I'll miss you miss you but she'll be back real soon big boog what are you doing what are you doing boogie it's a little warm out there for you i think we are back at home and luckily the sun is out once again and that takes care of where the c6 zr1 is going but what we're doing today is a little garage update and i know we're a little bit overdue for one because we got cars out the wazoo we got trucks we got cars got a little bit of everything here and I know it's really hard to keep up. Not everybody has the time to watch every upload and even if you do, which I appreciate, you can watch everyone. Uh, not everybody has the time to watch every minute of every upload. I think Rich is mowing today. I might mention something about a car for like a minute and then like an old car leaves or a new one shows up and people are like, well, when did that happen? So the garage updates are a really cool way to keep everyone on the same page, but not only are they good, I think, for the viewers, but I think it's good for me because when I do a garage update and I get everything lined up, it makes me look at everything I have and it forces me to stay on track and, you know, keep a plan for each vehicle because sometimes I forget. You know, I have so much going on that I literally get lost in my own sea of automotive content. So it's really cool to get everything together and lay it out like, okay, here, here is the plan for it. But first up on the list, is an old friend. We're gonna try to bring the Blazer out. Now the Blazer, I forgot in the last uh, garage update video, I, I will admit I totally forgot to actually get the Blazer. And then people, like it just, it sits back here in the backyard. And uh, then people were like, what about the Blazer? Did you get rid of it? What happened to it? No, it's still back. It's still back right here in its spot. Uh, we got some big weeds growing up there. I don't know if she's gonna fire up the last time i drove it i mean it was brutal like it kept dying and it was just not good it just wasn't good at all but the plan is this is that's a weed that's like a whole freaking tree the plan is to diesel swap the blazer so the blazer is not going anywhere i hope it fires up here for the picture okay got battery life that's good so it should at least crank up Let's see if she actually comes to life though all right key in Okay, okay. Oh no. Oh my God. That was a long one. Uh, yeah, you can hear the knocking. She's not, she's not doing good. Not, not doing good. If I'm being honest, not doing well. I have a powertrain. I have a 6.5 diesel for it and a trans already out of a Hummer, already ready to go, out of an H1, really cool. And that's fully like assembled, ready to rock and roll. I actually get it in and out of here by driving through Rich's yard, which he's totally, he offered, he's totally cool with, but that's another reason why I don't drive it a whole lot, besides the fact that I can't like take it on the road. Not that Rich cares at all because he's awesome and he loves it, like he takes videos and laughs about it, but I, tr I try not to. My realtor just called me and that's another thing that's going on right now, really exciting, really big. I know we've been talking about uh, getting a different place, a bigger place and moving up for a while. Uh, now it looks like it's finally actually, I think we found the right piece of land. So really cool. And then we did the whole beach house thing. So we're kind of like 
splitting it in the middle. We, we weren't sure if we wanted to move. We love North Carolina. Love the idea of going out west. You know, I watch Stradman's vlogs and it's like, holy, the land is beautiful. Um, but so I think doing 50-50, like we do love PA though. So half in PA for the year, half at the beach, whatever. But that's a story for another time. That's where the blazer died at when I <laughs> after I answered my phone. Um, so we're gonna leave it right there for now. We'll move it later on. But yes, the blazer is not going anywhere. Still actually pulls the views too, which I can't believe people like to see it, but it is pretty unique. It's, it's one of my more unique and different builds I've ever done. I don't think anyone has anything quite like it. It's kind of like a side-by-side, -side, but a lot bigger. And it's neat that it started life as a Chevy two-door full-size blazer, and now it looks like that. So it's, and people doubted me too, man. And everyone knows it, people doubted me. So don't say you didn't, a lot of people doubted me. They said, I showed a picture of what I wanted it to look like as I was like cutting the roof off of it way back in the day. And everyone was like, that'll never happen. It's so stupid. And look at it now, it's actually like I wanted. So it's a dream come true. Blazer fired back up and we're gonna leave it right here. I smell gas, but we're gonna leave it right here until we figure out where it needs to go in the lineup. Poor, poor blazer. Beautiful. Let's move on to the trucks, the big trucks. Uh, we'll start with the High Country. The High Country is one vehicle that is not going to be here for long at all. Uh, the giveaway is over for it. Thank you guys for entering and we will have a winner for you in about uh, 12 days from now. So we don't actually pick the winner, that way you know it's legit and it's not biased or anything. Uh, a company does it, a licensed independent company picks the winner from the data and it's all random. Um, but we will have a winner for you pretty soon and then we'll be giving one of you a phone call, but that's where the high country is going. It will be, well, be going to one of you really, really soon. This is like the only giveaway though, honestly, that I'm pretty jealous of whoever wins it. Like this is such an awesome truck and I've grown to love it. We have a cool little history and it was a sweet project. Good luck guys, I hope you win it. Again, thank you for entering. And yeah, that is the story on the High Country Duramax. Moving on from that truck that's gonna be gone in like 10 days to this one, this, what you're looking at guys might be the most long-term vehicle I've ever had on the channel. I plan to keep this for at least, I would say five years, if not longer. I love it. Got about 9,000 miles on it since I got it in December. It was really kind of, this is pathetic, but it was like my excuse to buy it was, oh, I'll get myself a Christmas present. That's what it is and I'm sticking to it, but I love this truck. No issues at all. And it's just a wonderful daily driver. I mean, I've, I never cared really about driving that much, but this truck makes it so easy to go on a road trip, you know, 400, 500 miles, whatever. It, do, it doesn't even skip a beat. Like I'm not even tired after driving it. It's so comfortable and it can go 600 miles on a tank, which is unbelievable. No real mods planned, and that's why you don't really see it all that much on the channel. Like I'm driving it every day and I'm using it for content if I have to pick up, you know, wheels or whatever. Like the truck is getting used to make the videos, but you don't see it a whole lot. It's kind of like behind the scenes. I, I really like it the way it is. And maybe I'm getting old or <laughs> maybe I'm just lame, I don't know. But uh, a lot of people ask, am I going to tune it or delete it? And the answer is no, I like it. Like I said, I like it the way it is and I don't wanna lose my warranty. And these new trucks, you know, really, you can't do much anyway. They don't get loud like, you know, my LLY was. In my opinion, with all the new EPA stuff and all that going on, it's really not worth it anymore to tune a diesel truck, you know, a new one. But I like this truck to sound like my LLY. Absolutely, but I don't, I don't see that happening anytime soon. If it does though, We'll look into it. That was quick, that's it for the trucks. Uh, let's move them out of the way and then we can get into the cars. Actually, before I forget again and park a truck in front of the bay, we're gonna move the Lamborghini Urus. The Urus is another one that I don't see leaving the collection for a long time because Gina loves it. And uh, I wouldn't mind if she wants to get something different, I don't care, but I don't think she'll ever get rid of it. Go ahead and leave this one here and uh, yeah, we'll move the trucks now. I think she's got almost 4,000 miles on the Urus and no issues yet. And I've launched it, you know, many, might have launched it many, many times. So hopefully uh, it stays that way. Okay, moving the white truck now. And the thing is for this picture, you might think it's like really easy to park all the cars in the garage, but if you want 
them lined up so you can see them all and the cars up front, you actually kind of have to think about it because you can't park the trucks until you move the cars out because the trucks go at the back, cars up front, and oh! and you can only maneuver them in a certain way. So you have to kind of plan it when you make a Strawman-esque uh, thumbnail. There we go. Okay, POV hat engaged, and we're gonna take the beautiful Laguna Blue C8 out on a drive. Kind of excited because I haven't driven a stock one in about three and a half months. You know, I sent mine, whoa, the AC is blasting. Pretty hot day. Holy crap, let's, uh, okay, turn the car on first. There we go. Um, I sent my Corvette out, my C8, and I didn't drive any other ones in the meantime. So when I got mine back, I drove it, and then it was twin turboed, but I haven't driven a stock one since mine was stock, and that was a while ago. This is our beautiful giveaway C8. So yes, we are giving this car away, uh, but it's not live yet. So don't buy anything on the website. You know, don't go to the website. Uh, it's not live yet. We'll be ready soon. Uh, but yeah, one of you guys will have the chance to own a C8 Corvette, and this is like, I think this might be our biggest one ever because it's the hottest, <laughs> the, the C8 is about the hottest car ever to come on the market. It's essentially a supercar, but unlike a Ferrari or Lambo, it's cheap to maintain, you know, it's a Corvette, and it's got a warranty. So <laughs> it's really, I mean, anyone can own it. Uh, okay, so I do notice it's a little bit slower than my twin turbo car. Um, the twin turbo car in boost really, even though it's only a couple pounds, it really does kind of jump out. And you can feel that uh, it's faster than this one. But every time I drive a C8 Corvette, I'm amazed that they can make any money on the car at all because it's <laughs> such an incredible vehicle for the money. A supercar for a quarter of the price and you know I've been very fortunate in my life and I thank you guys for that you Now I've had the opportunity to own a lot of different cars a lot of different like really crazy supercars McLaren's 570 720 600 LT I've driven a lot of Huracans I got to tell you the Corvette drives every bit as good as those cars do now it's not as fast but you know we have the Z, we got the the Z versions coming for that. It's not as fast, but it drives just as good. What I mean is the driving experience and the way it feels is just as good as any supercar on the market. God, it sounds good. Good stuff. Every once in a while, I'll still see like a negative comment about it. Now, when it first came out, a lot of people were negative. Like when any new car comes out, but for the Corvette especially, people were like, oh, it's not a Corvette anymore. It doesn't have the engine in the front and round tail lights. But if you drive one, I can't see how you would come to that conclusion. who says the Corvette brand went in the wrong direction is an idiot. This car, we are doing a build on it, nothing wild like the twin turbos, but we are doing a, you know, we'll do an exhaust, some wheels, maybe a few other little goodies, but this is going to be the next giveaway car and we will be updating you on when that giveaway launches. Still have to get my badge on there, but my favorite part about this car is the color. That satin blue is, whew some heat out of one c8 and into another one i don't know if you guys even know this because i haven't really talked about it but i was thinking about it last night when i was like planning out my video uh this car does now have the lmr cat back on it which i'm pretty sure is what we're going to put on that c8 over there it's a beautiful system you can see look at the i mean this is the the lmr difference guys the welds and look at just the the work that they've done is unbelievable. So they make these in-house. They have their uh, fabricator 
and you can buy this setup for your car. You don't have to have a twin turbo kit. You can put this on a stock C8, no check engine light or anything like that. Cool little LMR badge in there if you can see it. But yeah, I do have the LMR cat back on here as well. biggest fanboy ever, which I am, but um, God, I really love the C8. You know, I, I don't even feel like I need a McLaren or a Lambo. Or, like, this is the supercar. Put this one right here in park. Here we go. God, that is, that is good. Oh yeah. If you don't know, and by the way, this bow means nothing. I was just cleaning and the bow is there, so I threw it on the car. Um, yeah, we're not giving that away to anyone. But um, if you don't know, this is my 1000 horsepower ZR1. 2019 ZR1 had the car, I've had the car now for a little over a year. I got it last June and I really love it as a car. It's my favorite car I've ever owned by far. And it really helped me. I was going through some stuff at the time and I didn't really talk about it because it was stuff with my dog who thankfully is still alive, but I've had him since I was 15 years old. I'm now 27. Um, so that was like really heartbreaking for me. My 720S caught on fire in Florida. So I knew I was looking at a huge repair bill for that. And I had to sell the car and I had to sell another car. And this one, I was like, okay, I want to get another like supercar. What should I get? And I found this one and I just, I really never knew that I would love it this much and it would help me and help the channel. This car has been huge for the channel. It's got a couple of videos close to a million views. One video, I think two videos actually, over a million views. That's enormous for my channel. Pretty much stock on the outside except for the wrap and the carbon fiber Brixton forged wheels. Full carbon fiber wheels, like a Koenigsegg or a Ford. But yes, uh, they're super light and I love them. Uh, it really helps. This is like my race car. It's a pretty fast car. It runs uh, consistent 4.6, 60 to 130 times, ported 2.6 liter blower, full bolt on car with a cam running MS 109. Um, so it's a max effort stock car, kind of. Love the spec on it. Full carbon, you know, carbon wing, carbon vents, carbon ground effects. The interior has as much carbon as I could get. Gloss carbon dash. Uh, it's got the Alcantara, the comp seats, had to, had to get those, that was huge. And the steering wheel is aftermarket, of course. This is like a, a supercar wheel, and it's got the blue stitching to match the blue accents on the car. Um, so this is like a, this is like my baby here, really. I love, love this car. I've raced a ton of cars. <laughs> lost many. I've beaten actually, I think every car with this build as it is currently, I've beaten every car that I've raced. I only lost to a, a bike, a 320 wheel horsepower Ninja H2 epic bike, but um, it's got a pretty good win record. This one. <laughs> it does have a, uh, a relatively aggressive burble tune on it from LMR. I love it. So although I haven't driven this car in a couple of weeks, it's not because I don't like to. I love driving it. I've just had a lot of other stuff going on, but that's kind of my favorite thing about this car. It's like a race car and it's super fast, but there aren't any compromises. Like I can daily drive it, I can run it on pump gas, I usually run it on full 109 just to be extra careful, but I can run it on total pump if I want to, I can take it anywhere. We've shipped it to Florida, taken it to New York City, like I've driven this car a lot, and um, you know, I really enjoy it. So there aren't, and it's not like, oh, you know, I can't take that car now because it's got a thousand horsepower. I can still drive it like a normal car. <laughs> the burble tune. So LMR didn't really. 
<laughs> oh my god, I forgot how much I love, love that. I told LMR that I wanted a purple tune. And I was like, yeah, you know how all the McLarens and Lambos and everything have those tunes where they pop and they shoot fireballs and all that. Like, I want that on a Corvette. Nobody does it. I've never seen one. And they were like, sure, we can, we can do that. We can add more fuel. And since then, they have gotten literally thousands of phone calls about doing it to a Corvette. Like, other people now want it. And it's so freaking fun. It's so fun. It, it's got, it gives it that exotic sound and the wow factor. <laughs> oh my God. I love it. <laughs> oh my God. That will never, ever get old. This car has been awesome for me. It's never given me a single problem. As for the future of these two Corvettes in the garage, I love the ZR1. That's not going anywhere for a very long time, if ever. C8 though, you know, I love it. The twin turbo kit is sweet. Everything about it is sweet, but I will be trading this on the Z06 version. And I think that car will be very different from the base model here. So even though this one's twin turbo and again, very cool, uh, I will be trading it. So the C8, but I think I don't think the, the Z06 is going to come out for at least a year. So it'll be around for a while, but it doesn't have a super long future on the channel. It's really hot and I got, finally got all the cars organized. You guys got to see this. It looks pretty ridiculous. I've had like seven people walk by and they just like, you know, there's people and then they snap pictures and stuff. They probably think I'm like the worst neighbor ever, which is true. But um, the cars look really good out here in the driveway got the urs giveaway c8 my zr1 twin turbo c8 blazer high country and my z71 2020 so the whole crew is together now you might have noticed one thing i said a little bit earlier i just kind of snuck it in there uh there are two more cars coming to the garage very different but nonetheless there are two one is a supercar because i said i was going to get one and that's 100 percent true i am getting one I'm getting back into the supercar game. So one is a supercar, it's a 2007. So what do you think that is? Uh, I'll let you guess in the comments below. And the other one is not a supercar, but it's about $100,000 and it's older than me. So what do you think that is? Leave your comments below. If you did enjoy the upload, give it a big old thumbs up. Take care and have a great night, guys.